Hey, so I'm going to show you this video just because I just learned this like beat in uh, five minutes. So like I feel like when I tell people I have never had lessons before, they don't believe me. But um, I'm going to show you my learning process. It's basically by ear um, and I use Songster. Songster is a great program. You can slow down um, whatever you want to learn, um, bass, guitar, drums slow it down to fucking retard speed, which, you know, often I have to learn at that speed. Or you can just have it going with 100. And then you can even solo it, meaning you can take away vocals, guitar, and just hear drums, or you can take away the drums and be like, you know what, I wanna play. And then you have the rest of it. But yeah, I'm gonna just show you this beat first on Songster, like slow down and all that jazz. And then I'm gonna show you go to my kit and figure it out. like. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, folks, here we are. Um, sorry, sh shitty uh, quality, but this is Songster. So as you can see, I have highlighted a certain part of a song that I, well, I'm gonna learn my next cover, spoiler alert, is gonna be I Ejaculate Fire by Death Clock. It's such a fiery, groovy song. I've always loved it. Um, it's got a couple of really hard rolls in there. And I don't know if you consider this a roll, but I mean, it sounds pretty groovy. So this is it at full speed. We'll start here. This is just what I would consider probably the hardest part of the song for me. Because um, I've always been a strong kicker, but my handwork could really improve. So let's hear it. <laughs> That's at 100. Um, the learn, I kind of like 70. So let's go down to 70-ish. And this is what it sounds like. So you can also, you know, say you're like, oh wow, the guitar is so loud or whatever. You can do solo right here, which is the headphone icon right here. Let's just play it without. All right. Or, fuck, computer is so old. Seriously. It's not even that old. I don't know, like, why I have, like, a frozen-ass ancient computer. Um, let's see. I wanted to show you guys those, um, mute. It's called mute. So mute is to turn off the drums. So say, you know, like when I did my um, awaken and I didn't want you guys to hear the drum track from the song you want I just want you to hear my drums or I attempted to my shitty uh, audio equipment you can do this so okay if it's gonna work yeah I will try <laughs> You can speed it up too. I mean, I don't know why in the hell you would want to, but there you go. All right, I'm gonna put on just the drums so you guys can hear this beat that I, uh, I mean, I didn't really dissect it. I just kind of listened and I'm like, let me go copy it with the help of Songster. With this beat, um, I really think the handwork is groovy. So I started with just the handwork, didn't even do any kicking. And then I realized the kick is kind of going almost consistently until you get to this blast beat right here, right? Well, so that's how I taught myself. And oh yeah, in this video that you're gonna see, yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. No, I'm not poor. My freaking drum kit, it was 2400 all right? So I had to spend all my money on that before I could buy shirts. No, in all seriousness, um, when you play drums, especially heavy metal drums, you get sweaty. So I have a workout shirt, which is like this shirt that you're gonna see me wearing. So you'll see me do it kind of slow first, and then what I consider it somewhat mastered. I'm not gonna say mastered because I'm not freaking Gene Hogland. So, yep, this is my learning process. Oh. Um, I forgot to mention, I tweak my tabs. So I look at them and I, um, I don't play them exactly. Most, some of them I do, but like, look at this. Okay. When you listen to it, 
and um in here it sounds good but if you were to really like when i go and play it exactly it sounds like something's missing something so for the second bass kick after the high floor tom i added well I, a low floor tom hit because it just gives it more of that dramatic fill sound so i added that um i also don't exactly play the blast beat exactly just um full disclosure it's probably because my coordination sucks so it's really hard for me to go from continuous kicks to um stopping and then stop go stop go so i just kind of use the same blast beat that's in um that's in the last song i did sky hunter it's basically a blast beat with two kicks so you get the crash snare kick and then a kick so you still get that sound of the snare kick snare kick but um so thing the whole thing what covers is you don't play them exactly I and mean, you don't have to you can that's great fantastic for you but you can interpret them so you're gonna see me have an extra hit um after the high floor tom so i'm gonna hit the high floor tom you're gonna see me hit the low floor tom and it's because it sounds better to me so when I play the cover, that's going to be how I do it. But the whole point is to make the, the beat sound while I'm back there like this, right? Like, well, well, if it'll play, but to make it sound as close as possible to the real deal, which is this beat. So, um, fuck, computer, play. All right, you know what? <laughs> Never mind. Wait, hold on. There it goes. Oh, so there you go. Okay. So this is how I do my covers. You know, typically most of the songs I play are a continuous kick with some kind of cymbal snare action. And then you get hard things in the middle of the song like this. Melodic death metals like that. That's why it's fun to play, it's nice to listen to. So this is me breaking down the beat on my kit. <laughs> 